Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of OMSI 2. Today we're down in Lincolnshire where we're going to be having a look at the not quite so new anymore, Lincolnshire version 2.1. Now uh, I am absolutely ashamed to say that I have been sent this probably over a month ago now by Mr Moose and due to the fact that work has been hectic I just I wanted to do a live stream on it. I really wanted to do a live stream where we could drive there and back, but unfortunately I just haven't had the time to do it, ladies and gents, and it slipped through the net. And yeah, he's been so good to send me this, and I haven't done anything with it. So my apologies to Mr. Moose, my sincerest of apologies, and apologies to you guys as well, because I know that you absolutely love the uh, the OMSI 2 content. Today we're starting in Gainsborough with the Studio Polygon Fantastic Renown. We're in the uh, the T Mac version of this. With a lovely roller blind and a uh, and a dot matrix on the top there, we're just going to pull out in front of uh, in front of this Enviro here, who hopefully is a uh, ticket machine. Uh, the bin's gone for a yeah, that's it. You just don't crash into me, thank you. Uh, yeah, we're going to pull in here because we are actually due out in just over a minute. So uh, yeah, we're going to be driving the not quite so new anymore Route 95, which runs from Gainsborough through to Retford. Now it's an every two hour service. What do you want? Maybe single. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be an every two hour service. It is a completely new route, which is exciting. Right, hang on. Child return. That's the one. Right, two pounds sixty. So you want forty p change? There we go. And another adult single. I'm going to have to uh, finally learn where where all the buttons are again. Right, slam that shut. Right, we're going to... Uh, ah, tell you what, we'll just leave it for now. Uh, yeah, every two hours. First trip of the morning, Monday to Friday, is at 7.40. Last trip is at 16.40 uh, that goes all the way through. Uh, there is also a trip at 7.40 that terminates at Beckingham Church Street, which I imagine then runs dead uh, to the depot. We are also going to have just a, a nice little... Before we leave... We'll have a, uh, ooh, not not through the bottom of the earth. I can't imagine that's going to be a very popular photo. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. I do love a screenshot. You know I love an OMSI 2 screenshot. Ah, sod it. Let's just get going. Right, so yeah, Studio Polygon Renown. If you want to make a purchase of this bus, it is available. There's a link in the description where you can get this. There is also a link in the description where you can pick the map up. It really, really is good. Uh, I've always enjoyed the Lincolnshire map, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's been one of my firm favourites. Very, very long routes as a general rule of thumb on this map. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on today. This is actually one of the shorter ones. Obviously, that's not a local... Uh, Gainsborough route. This is one of the sort of regional but shorter routes. I know that, that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? But it goes all the way through to Retford and uh, looking at the timetable, it's going to take us about 45 minutes to get there. We're, uh, we're leaving now Gainsborough bus station at 16.40. We're going to be into, uh, into Retford for 17.25. So yeah, about 45 minutes. All been well. Uh, I can't imagine that we'd... Uh, that we'd struggle for time on this. Usually traffic is pretty light. I'm glad there's nobody parked there because we'd, uh, we'd have probably clouted them with the side of the bus, wouldn't we? But yeah, off we go. There is also a 95A. Oh yeah, it's the 95A, sorry, that terminates at Beckingham. Uh, so yeah, that's the that's the one there. Right, hang on. Here we go. Obviously these routes aren't particularly busy. You never really get rushed off your feet, do you? But, uh, but yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the passenger loading is going to be like. To be fair, oh, she didn't even want a ticket. Right off we go. Right, full steam ahead. This is uh, this is good. We're actually doing well for time. It's a good job we left a little bit early, isn't it? Because uh, we're actually bang on time now. I don't want to be sort of racing around too much on this, so I'm hoping the timings are relatively decent. As long as you can sort of maintain 30 mile an hour, that's that's pretty all right, isn't it, on a bus route? Where are we going now? Oh, we're going right. Right, okay, so before we've only continued forwards, so this is, uh, this is new roads then. Excellent. Starting off with the new roads nice and early. I love it. Let's just uh, let's just tack our time round here. There we go. Oh, it's uh, yeah, it's quite lively, isn't it, with the old gearbox on this? It's up and down, up and down like a tart snickers. Goodness me! Right, round we go. Wee, just careful not to clout that curb. There we go. Right, we're off. That's actually pretty good. To say I didn't use my mirrors. I'm I'm thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. Right. 
Right, there we go. Bert's vans. Are they new? I don't recall seeing Bert's vans before on uh, on OMSI. I might even be a, a reasonably good driver and put the handbrake on while we're uh, we're waiting at these lights. Oh no, we're late. Oh, come on. Nope, oh, we're, uh, we're we're edging forward. I have missed driving the Renown. Doesn't it sound fantastic? It really, really does. I've been uh, I've been keeping up to date with the progress on the Studio Polygon Gemini. It is looking absolutely amazing. I have to say, it looks absolutely beautiful. We got a bit of airtime there. Some uh, some funny feeling stomachs. Are we uh, do we actually put our foot down now? Are we? Is this classed as the countryside where we need to get a wriggle on? I think it's probably 30 going the other way, and I've been speeding, but uh, yeah, 50, right, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Just goes to show, doesn't it, that actually Gainsborough's probably not actually that big. Um, yeah, probably not that big, we've just gone out of the bus station, a little bit of town, and now we're just into the country. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite good. Quite good that there's a lot of, uh, it strikes me as one of those places similar to where I live. I live in, uh, in a little town in Cheshire. And it's, you know, it's, it's, that doesn't mean that I'm fabulously wealthy and middle class, because I can assure you I'm not. But uh, I'm not the, the usual Cheshire type driving around in a Range Rover and uh, looking down on everybody else. I promise you that's not me. But uh, yeah, where I live, it, there's sort of lots of, there's a little bit of town where, you, you know, you've got usual shops uh, that every high street has now. But then, sort of in every direction, there's fast 50 and 60 mile an hour roads. So you can, you know, you've got everything you sort of need in town, but if you need to go further afield, you're just on a quick road and you know you you're not snarled up in traffic you, you're just sort of on your way and it's brilliant and Gainsborough does sort of strike me as a similar sort of place to similar to where I live you know but that's probably again where I live doesn't have a brilliant bus service and uh, from what I've gathered over the years of driving the Lincolnshire map it does strike me that this doesn't have a particularly brilliant bus service either right so we're going right again excellent right okay round the roundabout Round we go, yeah. Still got the old winter textures on there, which is uh, not too far from the truth, to be honest with you, because it's still flipping cold, isn't it, on these mornings? Although, to be fair, what, what day are we on today? We're on Tuesday the 5th of March today, when I'm recording this. It is actually uh, really, really quite warm today in the sun in the afternoon. It was lovely. Oh, hang on, we're, we're back to being early again. Right, okay. Take it nice and steady then. Oh, somebody wants to get off. This is actually the first time I've driven this route. Uh, I've, I, literally, I've not even been driving it myself, Mr. Moose. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I'm, I've not driven it at all. So, I believe uh, that, well, Mr. Moose did say that he actually wanted to watch it on a live stream so he could see how I handled certain aspects of the route. So I am actually expecting a couple of surprises on route. Uh, what those surprises might be, goodness only knows, perhaps it wasn't a great idea to pick a 40 foot, 12 meter long bus. That might not have been such a good idea, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. Right, off we go again. Oh, mind this tree. Probably going a little bit fast for these uh, these little areas here, aren't we? Take it nice and steady. Again, we're a little bit early, so there's no need to rush. So is this Beckingham then? Is that is this is this where we are? There we go. So what time are we on? Beckingham Church Street is actually only nine minutes from town, and this is six minutes. So yeah, Beckingham is probably although the 95A didn't turn. Oh no, that was for the start of it, wasn't it? Yeah, so it, it probably, yeah. This will probably be Beckingham Village. Beckingham stop is at seven minutes past. And that's that's sort of now, isn't it? Right, the paddocks. Yeah, I've been reading my timetable. I've got it actually open on the left-hand screen. 
as I'm recording, so uh, so I can sort of keep an eye on where we are. What's this? Oh, this is Church Street, right? Okay, so this is actually where the 95A terminates. Lovely. Although well, that's nice and easy, nice and easy. So obviously, if you want a nice short route uh, in the morning and in an evening, that is uh, that is one for you. I think the 95A also only runs Monday to Friday. Uh, after that, it's, uh, it's yeah, that's the last one of the night and the first one of the morning. So there's one from uh, from Beckingham into town, and then one out from there. Yeah, that that makes sense. So it's like a peak time thing. Right, hang on, I haven't actually looked at where we're meant to be going. Left. <laughs> right. Okay. No, oh, left onto a dual carriageway. Fantastic. Right, we can uh, we can get the hammer down here then, can't we? Yeah, I was too busy looking at the timetable, trying to uh, trying to explain that to you. But yeah, as I say, it's uh, it's a nice leisurely pace route by the look of things. We're heading out to a place called Bowl Village now, which is five minutes away from Beckingham. Let's just make sure we're uh, we're in the road. Or on the road, should I say? Not in the road. No, that that would imply that we've crashed. Tell you what we will do while we're here. We will nip outside the bus and get a uh, get a nice screenshot of us whizzing down the motorway. Look at that! Right, hang on. We'll uh, we'll need. I need a uh, yeah, a bit of that. Lovely. Right, have a have a bit of that. That is lovely. It's gonna look great on a screenshot, isn't it? Right, back to it, people. Back to it. Plenty to do. I mean, I think we've pretty much hit the limiter now, haven't we? Have 55. Right, we're either going forward or right. It's one or the two. Oh, Beckingham is left. Oh right, okay. Oh, depot. Right, okay. So the 95 goes. Hang on, is this the roundabout that we've just gone round and, and sort of... Is this the roundabout? I don't know, have we just come from beyond? I don't know, let's have a look. Are we, are we back where we started there? If I just... Yeah, we are, so we've actually just sort of done a loop round. So that must be the Beckingham loop and then we turn right and, and carry on. That's... Uh, right, I see. Right. I thought it looked familiar, this, this dual carriageway. Right, off we go. It's very, uh, very Arcala, that, isn't it? You sort of go around the houses to come back on yourself to end up in the same place to, uh, to yeah, very, very Arcala. Ramper Road, nobody getting on or off. Thing is with Lincolnshire, it's very much one of those maps, isn't it? You you don't get an awful lot of people on and off. If if you like quiet rural driving, this is definitely the map for you. Not a lot of hassle. You don't have to check a lot of tickets or sell a lot of tickets. Even, you know, you just sort of plod along, just driving on the open road, stopping every now and then to let a little old deer off in her uh, country cottage. It's yeah, it's, it's very very chilled out map. I love it. I've always been a fan of this map. It's really good for live streams as well because of the sheer length of the room. I've also been sent uh, a copy of Bodenham V5, right hand drive. Uh, a couple of other YouTubers have also got the mitts on that because I, uh, yeah, <laughs> and I didn't realise either. Dazza, is it Dazza 1980? I think it was. That's completely off the top of my head. Uh, for my memory there, it might be, it might not have been Dazza 1980, I think it was, uh, has been working on this map in secret. I mean, we've sort of heard about Bodenham for a little bit, haven't we? A couple of different people on the forums have tried converting it, but this actually looks really, really good uh, from what I've seen, so we will be covering that in the upcoming weeks. I'm really excited for that, actually. Because uh, Bodenham, back before we had all these right-hand drive buses, when we were uh, left-hand drive only, you know, back when we were driving the uh, the SD202 everywhere, the SD200 and the uh, the NL202, yeah, back in them days, Bodenham was my absolute go-to map. I'd done, like, first liveries and put route brandings on them. I'd, I had spent so many of hours of my life on Bodenham, so to actually see it come back again, is uh, with with you know where we're able to use these buses is very very exciting so uh, yeah stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because uh, yeah you might want to uh, you might want to see that that'll probably be coming next week 
probably. It's one of them when I get a minute. Right, going left. For all this extra OMSI content that's coming all of a sudden, I could have probably done with not starting a new Transport Fever 2 series, because we've got two running in parallel now. It's going to be a busy couple of weeks, I tell you. Could do with finishing Bus Simulator 21 or something like that, so we've got more time. When I'm going to fit any Train Simulator content in, I don't know. Right, so we're going... Flipping out, we're going... Oh, this is Bowl, so Bowl Village is uh, is down here. God, it's a right narrow little road, isn't it, this? We're, uh, we're right on the edge, so we'll uh, we'll stay here. Could just about fit down this road. It's a good job it's not an every ten minute service, isn't it? Flipping heck. Whee! Getting thrown about all over. Just take this nice and steady. There's going to be a car coming around the corner, isn't there? Oh, wow. Actually, there is... Oh, hang on. Have we, have we gone the wrong way? What's... No, there's a stop here. Stop here and reverse. Oh, fantastic. Right, hang on. Well, nobody actually wants to get on, so we'll... Or off. So we'll, we'll just sort of... Sort of do this. For goodness sake. What, what sort of madness is this? Right, we're going to draw past... And this is all going to be from the mirrors, people. You're going to love this. This is my actual uh, bus driving skills coming into use here. All right, let's just make sure we don't clip the curb. Go for the uh, the old... Right, there we go. We'll, we'll bring it round. Yeah, come on. Please work. Let's just not mount the curb. Or back into a hedge either. That would be nice. Oh, we've nearly ran that woman over. Never mind. Obviously, you should use more than uh, more than just the one mirror when reversing. Right, off we go. Oh, hang on, that child's about to be run over. Excuse me. Oi! Get out of my way! Kill you. Oh, hang on. Oh, we're, we're going over the curb now. Yeah, you, you didn't think about that, Joe, did you? Right, there we go. Full lot, that'll do. I think that child has been uh, moved a little bit closer to her maker. Never mind. God, that took the time out of the timetable, didn't it? Right, Bowl Village, we've stopped there now. We're heading back up here. Next stop is a place called Top Street. Is that windscreen wiper actually wobbling up and down there? Is that a feature? I have never noticed that, or am I just going bonkers? I'm pretty sure that that windscreen wiper on the right is wobbling, because they, they do that in real life, because, you know, right bus bodywork. They are falling apart. They're, they're brilliant, but from the second they leave the factory, they're falling apart. It's just how right buses are made. Look, it is actually wobbling. Do you know what? I have never noticed that before. It's little things like this that just make Studio Polygon's buses the best on the market. They really are so good. This is why I'm looking forward to the Gemini, I tell you. Right, so we can... I've completely lost my bearings, but I'm assuming we came from the right. So we're going to the left now. Oh, we're cutting in front of this van, he won't be happy. Oh, hang on, where are we? Right. Oh, he's gone down the other way. Watch out for the old speed cameras here. Right, full steam ahead. God, that sun's a bit bright, isn't it? I can see all the veins in my eyes. All my capillaries. Right, off we go. bit bright again. Right, oh hang on, right, right and bend. That's going to come lower and lower and lower, isn't it? Mr. Moose has also done quite a bit of work, he says, on the uh, on the existing routes, which we'll probably need to pay attention to as well when we uh, when we go back uh, to reduce the uh, the amount of repeating assets. <laughs> Just reminded me with this hedgerow here, flipping heck. But uh, yeah, apparently he's gone back and, uh, and has paid attention to that to try and diminish the amount of repeating assets, which is really, really good. And I'm assuming at some stage this route will get the treatment. I mean, it's turning into an absolutely massive map now, isn't it, Lincolnshire? When you think what it used to be when it was just... Uh, back in the day when it was just Gainsborough. It was just the, the little town. Little town runs around Gainsborough. 
it was it was a really good map then, but yeah, when we've got all these massive routes now out to Retford, and we'll be going to Skegness next, flipping heck. We're doing Butlins or Pontins holiday shuttles. Just got to watch out for them speed cameras. We will uh, just slow down. There we go. 50 mile an hour through that one. Lovely. Does feel like you're going a lot faster, doesn't it, in a bus at 50 mile an hour? Here we go. Oh, bit of dual carriageway. Right, let's... Uh, oh, there's a bit of a queue behind us, so we'll just pick this left-hand lane. That'll do. Are we, are we still 50 in? Oh, there's a bus stop. Flipping out. Have we actually got anybody on? Oh, there's a, there's a child down there. That's not a child. That's a woman. Oh, we've got quite a few on, to be fair, for, uh, for Lincolnshire. Oh, Top Street. Right, we're here. Well, we've gone whistling past. The next actual sort of town is Wheatley. So we should be there in about three minutes. Wheatley Low Street, it's called. So maybe we're in Wheatley now, because that was Top Street. Oh, hang on. Let's just not be too uh, too firm with that steering wheel. Everybody will fall over. Oh, hang on. 95, right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, so we're going left down here. God, that springs itself upon you, doesn't it? Oh, North Wheatley. Heck, it must be big. There's North Wheatley, South Wheatley, maybe Wheatley Central. Nobody waiting for bus man. Oh, hang on, there's a child. Excellent. Where are we? Oh, we, we do continue forward. Right, the child wants a return. There we go. Thank you, child. Oh, hang on. Right, so we want to go down here. I wonder what's down there. Because there is a bus stop on the left there. I wonder if, like, there's some sort of route that turns round at some point. Got narrow round here, isn't it? I wouldn't want to meet the bus coming the other way. I'm not going to lie, though. This is the sort of route that I would love to drive a renowned down. Apart from that little sort of nonsense turny roundy bit that we uh, we did earlier. Yeah, I can't imagine I'd like to do that on my own as well. I don't mind reversing buses when there's someone at the back to sort of watch you back and yell if you're going to hit something, but I don't really like doing reversing on my own. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not a fan of that. Right, here we go. So we're turning right down here by the look of things. They don't have a lot of bus stops, do they? I'd have thought that like there'd have been one here, you know, for all these houses. Maybe there's one just round the corner. Again, not a road you want to meet. Oh, there we go. There's a bus stop there. Not a road that you want to meet the bus coming the other way on, is it? Wheatley Primary School. Right. Okay. So we're definitely in Wheatley, aren't we now? Right. This child must have been in detention. Oh, hang on, hang on. Bounce down off the curb. There we go. You were doing so well as well. Child single. Pound thirty-five. Right, hang on. So fifty. Uh, where's the ten p? Sixty-five. That's too much. That's not a five p. There's the five p. <laughs> I really don't like this cash drawer. I always play out with uh, Josh from Studio Polygon about the messy cash drawer. Because if this was my cash drawer, if I was the bus driver, it'd be much neater than that. I tell you, we'd have everything neatly organised. Do you know what? I've really, really missed OMSI. We haven't played it in so long, have we? But now that I'm back doing this, I mean, the German OMSI, I need to revisit the German OMSI as well, don't I? Because that was a bit of a disaster last time, because for some reason when I installed that, it uninstalled my 4GB patch. So we've got that reinstalled now, 
as you can tell, it's working like a dream. So we do need to take another uh, another little run on it to see how that fa you know how that works under the four gigabyte patch. Because I reckon it'll be absolutely fine. You know, I've not tried it, genuinely not tried it. But we'll uh, we'll we'll see how we get on. Obviously, we've got a lot of Bodenham to do first, haven't we? Before we go back to that. But that Solaris, again, was a really really good drive. It was a nice bus to drive on, obviously. I, I definitely like to see it working. There's a lot of people that were, well, why would you, you know, why would you buy that when you've got it on the bus? Because they do have the same route. But uh, the fact of the matter is, OMSI to this day is still the best bus simulator. If you want to actually feel what it's like to drive a bus, this simulates it best. Admittedly, and I wholeheartedly agree, the bus looks infinitely better when you, you know, when you're comparing the graphics. The graphics on OMSI are garbage. You know, they, they just are. There's no denying that now. Uh, so I'm not trying to say that the uh, the graphics are brilliant on OMSI. Speaking of that, we're going to take a nice little screenshot. Because, I mean, look at that. It is actually still pretty. To say it's as old as it is, it does stand up pretty close. You know, it, uh, you can tell what the bus is meant to be, can't you? But, um, yeah, it, it, it's one of them, isn't it? The... Uh, it, it, Graphics-wise, it's never going to stack up to things like the bus. But the bus, the physics aren't as good, so, you know, because I do have a bus driving license, for those of you, some of you will probably already know that, some of you might not, but I do have a bus driving license. I'm not a bus driver by profession, but I do own two buses, which I, uh, I enjoy driving uh, at the weekend, because I'm a bit of a lunatic like that. But, you know, to actually, whoa, sweet child of mine. Dear you know. Yeah, if you actually, sorry for that rude interruption. Uh, yeah, if you want to get a feeling what it's like to actually drive a bus, the closest game slash sim that I will suggest is this every single time. Pretty graphics aren't everything, people. I'll tell you that now. And obviously the modability feature of this. I think there's a lot of life left in OMSI. I really, really do. There's some great projects in the pipelines, isn't there? Oh, I think there's somebody... Oh, she's she's going round in circles. Is she excited because the bus is here? No, she's, she's just doing that. They do that in London quite a bit, don't they? Just whirling round in circles. Perhaps she's got a little uh, little boombox next to her and she's, uh, she's doing a dance of some sort while waiting for the bus. She's got that dizzy. She didn't actually see us coming. We've gone whistling past now. I don't know. Oh, is this somebody at the bus stop? I think it is. Sturton Listeeple Church. That's now of a mouthful, isn't it? Right, there we go. So we're here at 17.05. Lovely. Yeah, that is brilliant. Oh, right, so we're roughly half an hour... Uh, sorry, halfway through the route. Just over halfway now, people. It is brilliant, this, isn't it? The bus sounds so good. You probably want me to stop wittering on so you can hear the amazing engine sounds. You know, driving this, I really do want to get my B10 back on the road. The, uh, the B10 BLE 60820, uh, which I've owned for many years now, has been off the road for so many years. It's, uh, it's quite a poorly bus. I haven't had the money to, to do it, to be honest with you people. It's uh, sadly just one of them things, but uh, now we're uh, we're back with it. It's uh, hopefully moving to a new home in the uh, in the upcoming weeks, which might give us a bit more space to actually do stuff with. So uh, yeah, that would be really really good if we could actually do that with the B10. You know, get it back on the road, back to some shows. Awesome! Oh, somebody wants to get off. Oh, here we go. Right, where are we? North Leverton. 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 Go on. Someone will correct me. There'll be somebody on the channel from uh, North Leverton, surely. Right, there doesn't appear to be... Oh, it says crossroads. Right, do, do we stop here? 
Is there a stop round the corner? Let's let's just sort of cheat and. Uh... Oh, there we go. Crossroads is round the corner. Right, you can't get off here. Right, well, uh, we'll wait for the Prius because it does actually say to stop. Are you. Oh, they're going that way. Well, it was nice of you to indicate. Cheers for that. Three. There we go. Right. Thank you, dear. Right, off we go again. I realise we're actually two minutes early, but uh, I don't want to skip the time ahead just in case uh, something happens where we have to reverse again and we use all our time up. God, it's the right. Uh, it's driving on what's left of the road, isn't it, round here? Pothole bingo. Well, uh, we'll stick to this side of the road. This is always brave, doing this with a bus stop. Oh, no, I guess we'll... Uh, we'll no, we'll be all right, won't we? Right. Somebody wishes to get off. Lovely. We'll, we'll just tuck in here. Because the problem is, if you have a bus stop on the, on the side of the road, you know where you have to stop on the wrong side of the road. If a car comes the other way, obviously the OMSI traffic isn't clever enough to actually wait. You know, the, the drivers don't actually have brains. So I guess it simulates real life driving quite well actually but um, yeah so they just drive right up to your vehicle so you would have no option but to drive through them so it's a good job I thought that that was what Mr. Moose had done there with that bus stop I thought, oh this is a bit uh, a bit dicey this isn't it but no actually that that will work well because we've got space to tuck in I shouldn't have doubted you I'm terribly sorry Mr. Moose it's uh, yeah he's, he's never going to send me anything again now after uh, after this performance is he after this absolute pavlova Oh, hang on, 95, aim here, then reverse, you're joking, flipping out, right, more reversing, oh, aim here, that'll do, right, off we go, round we go again, yeah, lovely, I can't see my mirror because there's a, there's a directional doodah in the way, should actually check the other mirror, shouldn't I, there we go, oh, we're, we're bang on track there, look at that. How far are we reversing? Are we just... What's this? Oh, there's a there's a bus stop there. Right, okay. But there's nobody to pick up and nobody wants to get off. Right, okay, hang on. So do we just... Yeah, we, we just set off to the right again. That'll do. It's probably why there's no cars down this road. So that they don't all mess up your reversing. Clever. Yeah, I get that now. That's probably why the Prius turned right earlier. Uh-huh. Right windy road this, isn't it? Or windy route, sorry. Going down little bulky holes and having to spin round, oh hang on, they were a bit uh, yeah. having to reverse and go all round this, we'll try and avoid that there we go never known so much nonsense in all my days right, so we've obviously come from the right there, that's the uh, the crossroads with the uh, with the Prius we're now going to the left towards Retford oh here she is she's, uh, yeah, there we go she probably waits here because it's cheaper. She doesn't have to go all the way down there to do the uh, the messy reversing. Thank you, dear. Anybody to get off? Nope, so we'll carry on. Where are we now? Hawthorne Close. Are we at Retford Road? Oh, we've got a level crossing as well. Wow. Oh, hang on. Right, we'll slow down for this. I don't think there'll be any trains coming, but, you know, we don't want to fly over it too fast. The bus might drop apart. South Leverton, the next uh, next stop. So they're obviously two little villages, aren't they? Maybe Leverton's like an area. Should be Leverton, shouldn't it? It probably is. I'm I'm saying leather like like it's American. Leverton. 
because obviously a lever, we would we would pull a lever. I mean, only if you meant. I mean, to be fair, even if you see a lever with nothing, you know, you'd just pull it, wouldn't you? Even if you didn't know what it did. How do you find out? Everyone does that. It's like the uh, wet paint do not touch. There's just a lever there. You're gonna pull it, aren't you? But uh, yeah, lever is is English, isn't it? So we'll, we'll go with Leverton after all this. 50% of the chatting can be Leverton and 50% can be Leverton. How's that? And then we uh, then we keep everybody happy. Here we are, South Leverton. I'll tell you what, it can be North Leverton and South Leverton. How's that? There we go. We, there. we can't be wrong both times, can we? We can only be wrong once. God, that sun's low in the sky, isn't it? That's just... I can hardly hear myself think. Let's hope there's no car, because I didn't actually look there, did I? Oh, hang on, that's the curb. Sorry, everybody. But we do still have a couple of people on, don't we? Leverton Road, we are actually 4.6 minutes early. Now that means that either the bus stop's really, really far away, or we're just really, really early for some reason. Remind me not to go blasting through that. Whoa, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, remind me not to go blasting through that bus stop. We'll have to wait some time. Right, round to the left, this looks like we're... Uh, is it a T-junction yet? Lovely. North Leverton to the right there. You could probably actually do this route in about 10 minutes if you just drove down the direct roads, whereas it only takes 45 minutes because we go round up back streets. He was motoring going the other way, wasn't he? Let's just let's just take it a bit steadier. Oh, hang on, that's a bit faster. They're all going to be kicking off. Or did I turn the uh, the yelling at me off? I can't remember. Maybe I turned it off so that it sounded a bit better. Could always test that theory by stomping on the brakes, but I'm not gonna. You know, we've been reasonably good at driving the bus today, haven't we? We've been reasonably good. So we won't jeopardise it by, uh, by deliberately upsetting all the passengers. I hope that wasn't a left arrow to go down there. We'll find out in a minute, won't we? Flipping out, this is a right cross-country route. I think this will be really, really good for the Studio Polygon Gemini, you know. Just have a you know, a really nice little sort of round the houses. Brilliant countryside route, painted in the purple, interconnect by Stagecoach. There's some B9s painted like that, isn't there? Or are they B7s? I, I forget. But yeah, there's definitely Geminis painted in that livery. Look really, really good on this route. The sun's still a bit bright. Flipping, I can't pull it much lower. We won't be able to see the road. Yeah, we can't drive like that. Good lord. That engine's about to blow up in a minute. All those revs. Oh, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Keep that. I'll have to move that up and down as the sun moves in the sky. Well, as, as yeah. You know what I mean.
God, it's quite thrashy, isn't it, this? It's a good route if you like to thrash your buses. I don't think this B10 is actually quick enough, you know, because uh, we've lost time thrashing it down to uh, Leverton, Leverton Road. Yeah, we have lost time. We're actually due there in, uh, in three minutes. So, yeah, wow, that is actually a really, really long distance, isn't it, between the Leverton, Levertons? Oh, hang on. Yeah, too fast. Way too fast. Not good, Joe. Looking out, we're about to go flying here, aren't we? Whee! That will have been a bit of air time if you were sat at the back of the bus. I feel like you're on the Big Dipper at Blackpool. Oh, hang on, is it here? Oh, it's here! How have we all of a sudden got really, really early? Oh, we're in Retford! Wow! Oh, we're not in Leverton, Leverton anymore, are we? This is Retford, but this is Leverton, Leverton Road. I see. Right, nobody to get on. So we'll skip ahead by two minutes. There we go. That'll do. Oh, hang on. Burning sun. I wonder if there's a bus station in Retford. Never driven this far. So, uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, well, I've never driven any of it. I don't know a lot about Retford, other than there is a Retford railway station that holds trains. Stop at, don't they? They stop at Retford and Grantham. Right, that's, uh, that's like these twins on here. Oh no, only one of the twins wants to get off. Right, okay. He's one of probably the six Omsi passengers that you get. Has a uh, cabin crew lady, is she on? Uh, no, she's not actually. We haven't got the uh, the Lufthansa cabin crew woman. Can't remember if I've seen her today, to be honest with you. There's been a lot of kids on this route, hasn't there? Oh, hang on. Yeah, back down. No. Oh. oh, hang on. Now I can't see anything all of a sudden. Spittle Hill. We're here. Right, okay. Nobody to get off. That's fine. I can't actually see where I'm going. Right, 95 goes left here. Well, uh, I don't think we can get away with committing to that, can we? Do you know what? The B10, I'm really, really glad. I, w I was umming and ahhing. Do I pick the B10 or do I pick the uh, the Master Switch Veiling 2? And I think the Veiling 2 would have been a really, really good bus for this as well. But the B10, this sort of country-esque style route, really is good for the B10. It suits it so much. And again, like I say, the, the Eclipse 2 would also really suit it. This sort of heavy-duty 40-foot bus, it, it really, you know, it's a brilliant, brilliant sort of bus for this route, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I picked this. It was excellent. Just sort of any time today, you know, we're uh, we're not in a rush, are we? Bus is bobbing up and down, isn't it? It's like we're on a boat. Hey, there we go, finally. Right, off we go. So we'll, we'll move that up so we can see where we're going because I don't think the sun's going to bother us if we're heading this way, is it? Nope, somebody to get off. But that is Rep the bus station. Oh, right, okay, so there is a bus station. Lovely.
Another satellite. God, it's a good job we're so early. Hope there's plenty of padding in this timetable between, uh, well, Spittle Hill or Spittle Road. In fact, no, Leverton Leverton Road. That one, that bus stop at the top where that fella got on. That's that's probably the uh, the one where we need all the padding. I wonder if Retford bus station is near Retford railway station. I wonder. Right, here we go. I bet it's uh, bet it's in here. Looks like we're going into an industrial estate, doesn't it? Doesn't look like the uh, sort of place for a, uh, a bus station. Oh, here we go. Wow. Oh, this is funky. So turn right, accept buses. So obviously we can go in here. Hang on, turn right into somebody's house. Flipping it. Right, well, that is where we are going to leave it for today, everybody. I do hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. And uh, as I say, there's plenty of exciting things from Z coming up in, the, uh, in our future episodes. So uh, why not subscribe so that you never miss out on any future episodes? I really, really like this little bus station. I tell you what, we're going we're gonna to just turn the engine off. There we go. We can hear ourselves think now. So we obviously... That must be... Ah, right, okay. So we do a little... Do a little lap. Look, oh, there's a stagecoach bus here as well. Lovely. Where are you going? Oh, it's the town service. Right. Okay. Well, at least there's a bit of AI, so you'll actually see, actually see that. And then it looks like we've actually got five minutes until we have to head back. So, wow, you don't get long, do you? Yeah. Well, apart from that, thank you so so much for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.